Welcome back to Golf Life Live here at the PGA Merchandise Show. I'm joined by Tom McDonald from Yamaha. And uh, I tell you what, you know, I, I fondly believe, remember uh, my grandfather having a golf cart and spending the time growing up yeah. with a cart. And now my father has one and my kids love it. And uh, uh, private ownership of cars is a great thing. Obviously, your fleet business is a big part of your business. Right. But uh, really looking at a, at a car and looking at a company like Yamaha that has had just massive growth that you've had in the in this last several years. Tell us about this car and why that's helping with that. Well, this is the new Drive 2, a descendant of the first Drive car. And we took the features and uh, comfort level that we had in that car and moved it to this one. And then we refined some things, which I want to show you while we walk around. Yeah, let's but do that. Let me just talk about the Climber Guard Sun Top here. It's the largest in the industry, 33% larger than our competitors with rain grain, drains to capture the rain. So you don't have that coming off back, getting into your clubs. And uh, so that's a nice big benefit that we enjoy with the car. But we're really excited about our front dash. If you were to you know, like sit down in there for a minute yeah. and see how big this largest seat in the industry, yeah, I mean, contoured, can, whoo, room for four drinks. Yourself, you, know, you got two, five. I, I have a ha bad habit of putting my foot up there. That's <laughs> fine. We know that. That's why it's engineered. We moved the drink holders. Some people have them down here. Right. Ours are up on top. I like the center console a lot, you know. Yeah. And the other thing you've got here, I noticed you got USB power. People are going to love that. Yep. You got room for your two iPhone 6s or whatever other phone you carry with you. It's and just, two range finders. I don't know about you, but I'm always fighting with my son about where that range finder is going to go. Now we've <laughs> we re engineered it so it can, can hold two so now. So you've got the range finders. Okay, that's wonderful. And uh, plenty of drink holders. Just a real comfortable comfortable car. I understand this is some pretty good protection. Yeah, let's go around the front. I want to challenge right. you with your five iron there. Look at this. I, I carried a five iron out here. <laughs> now, so we went ahead and uh, let me get around to this side so I can get, get out of your swing pattern. <laughs> so from a standpoint of, of windshield, we're the first one to come out with a windshield that's not going to have a, a, a shatter to it at all, no matter if a golf ball hits it at X miles an hour or you get mad and you shank your ball and you want and you hit it in. You don't want to take out your aggravation. You can do it on our bodies. They're all bounce back. But now, take a take a whack at that so windshield. So I'm, I'm allowed to hit the car. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. That's a good swing. How's that? Nothing. Nothing. So and we it's did durable. that because we're all about trying to keep the cost down for our golf course owners. Yeah. So we wind up in this case. The average golf course is replacing anywhere from five to ten ten windshields a year, and they're not that inexpensive. So we can save, of course, about a thousand to twelve hundred dollars a year on just windshield replacement. That's great, that's great. Now, what about the just the, the drivetrain and the comfort of the car uh, when you're riding around? I know you said you have independent suspension. and We do, I wanna walk you over and show you that here. In fact, um, we can go right now if you like, right, since you brought go. that up. That's yeah. your hot button for you with our ride. <laughs> well, right over here, we have another EFI drive. And from the suspension standpoint, you know, we work very close, Yamaha with our big business units. We're right down the hallway from the ATV division. And I was thinking, you know what, for us, one of the features that customers have, have complained about for years on gas cars, they don't have all the weight of the batteries in there, right? So they bounce a little bit more. So what we decided is to go ahead and, and put an independent rear suspension. And now, in fact, let's rock this and watch the shocks up and down. Look at that. This car rides more comfortable than any golf car that you could, you could imagine because of the independent rods are controlling uh, the side movement and the shocks are handling all the up and down. Thus the quiet ride, right? Well, the quiet ride is another aspect. Okay. So we have taken the, the drivetrain that we've always had. Now we've re-engineered it with a lot of uh, noise deadening uh, cancellation rubber components, uh -huh. handling some of that grinding that might occur with, with metal on metal. Right. And we've got a lot of insulation in the car. So from a decibel rating level, in fact, later on, if you have time, I'd love to take you into our, our sound room here. I We're heard about that. We're going to let you listen to the drive-by <laughs> okay. with three different cars. Wow. And you'll hear the difference. It's and a big difference. It's noticeably. Huh? So we've, it's from 15 feet away, two decibels less on a gas versus an electric. So we say we have a gas car almost as quiet as an electric. And that's big news for golf course managers because a gas fleet is much less to operate. It's a lot easier to deal with. Well, right? your residual value at the end of the lease, those gas cars are worth a lot more because you don't have to go ahead and replace the batteries. But, you know, electric is, is still strong. It's one of the strongest, uh, it's still stronger than gas sales overall. But the reason people have shied away is because they haven't wanted uh, some of that noise in some of the cars. Our car is so quiet now, 
electric courses have been switching over to our gas product because they're saving so much money on their payments. Now, finally, we're going to kind of dolly around here, and we have something called Yama Track okay. that you've put together. Describe Yama Track for us. Well, right now, we actually have two of our sales representatives in there featuring it with a couple golf course owners. So, Yama Track is designed for many purposes. Originally, for a golf course manager to be able to sit in his clubhouse and see where every car on his course is at. It'll, it'll change the colors if they're arriving too slow or if they're ahead of pace, so the car will be a different color. If they're on pace, they're gonna be black. If we wanna keep somebody out of a zone, you see those yellow triangle areas there? We've made zones up so when the car gets closer to it, it will slow down and eventually we can stop the car if we want. A message will come up on the screen and say, you are in a hazard area, please back up. And you can do that with a gas vehicle? We can't yet. We're doing okay. this with our the electric, electric car. vehicles, okay. Uh, we have to have a control unit. So with our EFI, since we have a control unit, we'll get there. Yeah. It's just not ready in, uh, yet today. It, but, but this is such an important facet now of golf course management. It's saving them money. It's saving them a lot of yep. uh, just labor on their golf courses, correct? It is, and not only is it, it well, you can control right now uh, the speed of play, you can change pin placement. So you look, I can go back and look at a hole for the last three months and go, listen, when the pin was placed here, that hole took 12 minutes to play. When it's back here, it only took nine. So on Saturdays, never put the pin there. That and is you, you important. You can speed up play. That's, that's a great thing, I like that. It's got a back in there, we got a tee sheet for it. We can control food and beverage from it. Um, eventually we'll have security cameras. A, a course owner can sit on a beach in San Cabo and look at his course, see what his cars are doing, what's happening, and also we have a control there to be able to look at the maintenance schedule, what's happened to the car, yeah. look at the battery life, lay, listen, on the, that next time around that, that car needs to be put back in the barn, let's switch it out now. Don't let that customer be out on the course and have that car die. Right. So it's got so many features to it, and we're really excited about it. Um, we introduced it a year ago, and it's doing quite well. Courses are loving that. They love the price point we're at, and uh, it's it's been a big success for us. Well, I tell you, you know, uh, obviously, uh, just the life of a vehicle, the, the durability, the feature set is important to a course owner, but for an individual thinking of purchasing a car, a lot of our audience that are yep. living in a country club or a retirement community, my father has gone through, I think, his second car. Uh -huh. De describe why Yamaha is, is, a, is a brand that people can trust and that you're going to have a vehicle that's going to work for them for a long time. Well, you can go back to the, the fact that we have eight different divisions in the U.S. that have been creating everything from ATVs to boats to wave runners uh, to all the power products segments from sprayers and generators, the motorcycles, ATVs. I mean, we're a company that's a multi-billion dollar global company, and we've got the infrastructure in place from customer service through parts, through products. I mean, our products, they're made very, very solidly, and that's what customers sometimes don't realize until they buy a product What's it like maintenance-wise? Right, right. So we've engineered products that are going to last, that it's going to have minimal maintenance, and course owners and individuals don't realize until they've had it for a while. So like, take the Villages, one of the biggest retirement communities right. in our country. It's probably 70% Yamaha. And it's wow. because the word of mouth has kicked in, that's and people understand that you know that's that's the car for me. Right, right, so right. So we're, we're really putting comfort into it, um, convenience, the way the dash is laid out, it's an automotive style dash, the USB ports that you called out a minute yeah. ago, things that people want, we're putting them in the cars and we're doing it in an affordable manner. Well folks, I hope you take a look at Yamaha. Tom McDonald, thank you for uh, your you time bet. today thank here you. on Golf in. Life.